Our site is looking so cool. But how can we be sure we haven't broken anything along the way? Right now, we can't. Let's avoid the future angry phone calls from clients by adding some tests. There are two main types, unit tests and functional tests. Unit tests test individual PHP classes. We'll save that topic for another screencast. Functional tests are more like a browser that surfs to pages on your site, fills out forms, and checks for specific things. When we generated the event bundle in the last screencast, it created two stub functional tests for us. How nice! Create a test controller directory and user bundle. Copy one of the test files and rename it to register controller test. Rename the method to test register. The idea is that each controller, like register controller, will have its own test class, like register controller test. Then each action method, like register action, will have its own test method, like test register. There's no technical reason you need to organize things like this. The only rule is that you need to start each method with the word test. That client variable is like a browser that we can use to surf to pages on our site. Start small by testing that the register page returns a 200 status code and that the word register appears somewhere. The assert equals and assert contains methods come from PHP unit the library that will actually run the test. To run the test, we need PHP unit, the de facto tool for testing. You can install it globally or locally in this project via Composer. For the global option, check out their docs. Let's use Composer's require command and search for PHP unit. Choose the PHP unit, PHP unit result. For a version, I'll go to packages.org and find the library. Right now, it looks like the latest version is 4.1.3. I'll use the constraint tilde 4.1, which basically means 4.1 or higher. This added PHP unit, PHP unit to the require key in composer.json. And it ran the update command in the background to download it. We now have a bin slash PHP unit executable, so let's use it. Pass it a dash C app option. This tells PHP unit to look for a configuration file in the app directory. And hey, there's a PHP unit.xml.dist file there all ready for it to read. This tells PHP unit how to bootstrap and where to find our tests. But we see a few errors. If you look closely, you'll see that it's executing the two test files that were generated automatically in Event Bundle. Get rid of these troublemakers and try again. Green! PHP unit runs our test where we make a request to slash register and check the status code and look for the word register. To see what a failed test looks like, change the test to check for ACBAR instead of register and rerun it. It doesn't find it, but it does print out the page's content, which we could use to debug. It's a trap! Change the test back to look for register. When we call the request function, it returns a crawler object, which works a lot like the jQuery object in JavaScript. For example, to find the value of the username field, we can search by its ID and use the ATTR function. It should be equal to Leia.
rerun the test to see the result. 